Hey guys, welcome back to Nature's Cadence Farm. Today we're going to be working on our ASV PT100 again. And uh, this time we're going to be replacing a lot of the parts in the undercarriage. So, uh, the tracks are going to get replaced here. These rollers for the drive sprockets. And the all of the bogey wheels down here. And the idlers back there. Uh, down there so uh, we're gonna take it from this and you can see here it's just uh, these these idlers are, are worn out and chipped and uh, some of the bogies are chipped and the track is just falling apart to this so check this out got all new bogies all new idlers Got a brand new track on there, new drive sprocket, rollers, bolts, hardware, and everything. And uh, so that's going to be exciting. So yeah, so stick around and uh, we're going to get this thing going. So it should provide us a lot of service after all this work is done. So the first thing that needs to happen is there's two bolts one right here and one over on the other side directly across from here those need to be removed and there are two bolts you can see one right here and there's one on the back side of this drive table they need to be removed and then I'm gonna remove this tensioner here and that's going to get cleaned up so I can use it to pull the drive table forward and it'll be a little easier to get out and that's removed by two cotter pins front and rear and two pins so let's get all that out because we're going to take this drive table and pivot it out so it'll take uh, we're going to release the tension off the track pivot the drive table out so then we can remove the track from the uh, undercarriage there so let's get started with that got a 15 16 bolt here 15 16 bolt here and uh, so we're going to use this impact socket and this impact on this one because I can get it in here. I might be able to wiggle it in back there. So let's go ahead and back this off and see if we can get this out of here. Okay, finally got that one out of there. Here it is right here. Had to use the torch and kind of heat up down inside of there a little bit uh, to get the the actual bolt to even start turning then he used a uh, breaker bar and the impact socket that was on it and a uh, a cheater pipe on the breaker bar so yeah that one was uh, that one was tough there's always one all right next up we're going to go back here and we're going to take this bolt out and then there's one on the other side on the back side here you can see it down in there maybe hopefully yeah way back there you can kind of see it a little bit so let's get these out and then we can start moving this drive table right here forward we got a 15 16 nut on the inside of here there's lots of dirt piled up in there too and then there's a 15 16 on the outside here so I'm gonna use the impact on the outside and try a wrench on the inside see if I can get it on there to hold it these uh, nuts on the inside of here are actually nylock lock nuts, so they're going to have a little tension on them pretty much the whole time you're backing them off until you get to the very, very end. But yeah, there's still a lot of dirt in here. Let me try to dig this out a little bit. All right, so I've got the wrench on back there. Let's see if we can get this bolt to move here. Got it. Perfect. Here we go. So we got that, and then like I said, back here we've got a uh, lock washer and a nylock lock nut. So put all that back together. Try to reach in here. It's going to be hard to video, but what I did on the other side was I put a wrench on the back side of the bolt head on the back side of the, the bolt, and then uh, used a socket and a 18 inch extension to get out here for the rear one.
So next up we need to go ahead and take the tension off of this adjuster and how we're going to do that is loosen up this nut and then take the turnbuckle here and rotate it uh, righty tighty onto the rear of the adjuster at least the one with the lock nut on it so let's go ahead and do that got an inch and seven eighths wrench here and we're going to take this lock nut and lefty loosey facing this side here Let's back that off a little bit I don't need a whole lot my goal is to just take enough tension off to remove these pins off of this and this so let's go ahead and see if we can get this loosened up enough to get there I can kind of see this them the front and uh, the front and rear pins kind of moving a little bit so there's a there's supposed to be a cotter pin in here but it's probably broke or got lost at some point in its life and somebody has replaced it with a piece of wire it looks like some type of steel wire I'm gonna wiggle that out of there Looks like that one wants to be tight. I might have to beat that out. Had to put the torch on back here a little bit to kind of warm this up. It was kind of seized in there. So now I'm just wiggling this pin out with these pliers on it. When I put the other side in, since I had the pins all cleaned up and everything, I put the pins in from this side. So if I needed to drive them out next time, I could just drive them out. Not sure who decided to put them in like this, but anyways, we got it out. To move the drive table forward to this point right here where this pivot pin is, the table's going to come to here and there's going to be a bolt that goes into here and through here and then the whole table comes out. I need to move it quite a bit. I like to move it with this ratchet strap. Seems to work pretty good. It'll it'll get it moving you might have to reposition it a couple times to get the um, the bunch out of this spool right here but you can see it's moving just kind of keep doing that until you get it all the way up here seems like once it gets to a certain point and you can get this inside of this little keeper right here the a, a crowbar or pry bar of some sorts uh, you can go ahead and wedge it behind uh, some of these things back here and and get this table to move so I've got a pretty good spot right back here behind the table so once you get it halfway close here there's a uh, you can just slide it over to align this there's a solid hole down here not the slotted one up here line that up to there then you can take one of your bolts that used to mount into here that mounted it to the frame slide it into that hole and that'll um, I'm gonna replace this hardware anyway so I don't mind kind of beating on it a little bit So you want it all the way down in there that way the uh, the table you know you don't want it to fall off on you so there that is next up we're gonna pivot this table out this way there we go that seemed to get things moving Let's see if I can get underneath it here again
So I just got the track off of the sprocket there and now I'm just going to pivot this the rest of the way up. I'm going to go ahead and get this track off of here now. I'm going to wedge this, <clears throat> this bar behind this idler up front. Let's see if I can get it in there. There, just like that. See, I've got it kind of in the middle there. So that's where you'll need to be. Slide it in a little bit. I'm going to get it all the way to the next wheel there. The next idler and pry pry on that so once you get it to that point there uh, then, then you know the track is off all the way now so what we'll do is go ahead and um, pull the track the rest of the way off <clears throat> 